is Kanade. I am an average housewife. I live happily with my husband, Alto, and my daughter, Ompu. Today, I am visiting Alta Kun's parents with my family. I'm home! I'm so tired of being an elite company employee. Jeez, this voice and the overflowing self-consciousness. Oh, you all are here. Hi, Ompu. Ah, we're here for a visit. Hi, Rio. Oh, is she not seeing me? Ah, Rio. Hello. <laughs> Rio, Alto's younger sister, came back home. Rio seems to love Alto. She seems not interested in me who married to Alto. Thus, she doesn't even talk to me. Rio is still the same. I hope you and Kanada get along well with each other. Well, leaving that aside, I have a little report to make today. Please, sit down. What? You mean, you and Kanada are getting divorced? That's super good news! What? Hey, what a thing to say! No, it's not! Oh man, I've lost my hopes! What a terrible thing to say, Puni! Theo, you're terrible! So, what is it? Oh my god! Actually, I quit the company I was working for! Huh? I talked it over with Kanade, and we decided to start with a small company. Unbelievable! Are you seriously saying that you quit that big company? I can't believe it! Why would you do that without consulting me? Rio, calm down a bit. Rio was furious when she heard what Alto said. No wonder. Alto and Rio are brother and sister who are famous for their excellence. Rio followed in the footsteps of Alto and got a job at a big company. In other words, Alto is Rio's idol. Anyway, Kanade must have said something unnecessary like she wanted to spend more time with him and encourage my brother to change his job. Eh? I didn't do anything. Moreover, I can't believe he changed his job from a large company to a small one. What? Changing jobs to a smaller company? Huh? Ah, oh, that's impossible! Anyway, by marrying you, you ruined my brother's future. You need to leave my brother right now. Oh, you're driving me crazy. Hey, Rio, that's enough. Why do you take Kanade as your shut enemy? Shut up, shut up, shut up! Hey, listen to me. No! Hey, Rio? What? Rio, you're a good girl, so let's be quiet for a minute. Do you want to take a nap? Want to go for a walk? What? Don't treat her like a child. Don't get angry just because things don't work as you want. It's just like a little child. What? What? What are you talking about? You're so cocky. I'm an elite, unlike your mom. Okay, okay. Anyway, let's all be good to each other. Also, it's almost Umpu's birthday. What does that have to do with anything? Because Umpu's birthday is the day when everyone becomes happy, right? Huh? Right, Mom? Dad? <laughs> no one can compete with Umpu, huh? That's right. On Umpu's birthday, all mankind is happy. <laughs> I can't keep up with you guys. Ah, <sighs> Rio left the room without listening to our conversation. It seems like Ompu's comment added fuel to the fire. Oh well, whatever. Well then, Ompu, what do you want to eat on the day of your birthday? Let's go eat something Ompu likes. Yes, say whatever you like. What? Okay then, well then, Opu wants to go to an all-you-can-eat barbecue place! Eh? All-you-can-eat barbecue? Yes, you know, I heard from a friend that there is a place like heaven where you can eat all the meat you want. That's all-you-can-eat barbecue! What? Meat's heaven? 
No need to translate into English, Puni. I've never been to a place like that, so I want to go there. I'm sorry for being so selfish. Ompu, you're not being selfish. Let's go wherever you want to go. Go to heaven. That's not exactly what I meant. Really? You're really taking me to an all-you-can-eat barbecue place? Yay! I'm so happy! I'm looking forward to it! Rio may not like me, but I'll be fine with these two. I'm happy just to be able to have dinner with my family of three on Ombu's birthday next week. Hmm... Eh? They're saying something about going out to eat for Ompu's birthday next week. She's never been to an all-you-can-eat barbecue? Really? Isn't that a bit awful? I didn't know my brother's family was that poor. I knew it all started when he married Kanade. My brother's supposed to be a rich man. Kanade, I really don't like you. I want to show her the pain somehow. Ah, yes. I came up with a good idea. Hmm. And the day of Ompu's birthday, we came to an all-you-can-eat barbecue restaurant just as Ompu had hoped. Good evening! Hi, how are you? Wow, this is amazing! This is heaven! What's with the vibrancy? I'm not used to this kind of place. Yeah. But it's for the sake of Ompu, right? Yes, it is. Hello, big brother. What? Rio, why are you here? It was supposed to be a family birthday party, but Rio was there. Well, it's because you guys are new to all-you-can-eat barbecue restaurants, right? Uh, yeah, well, I didn't expect you to be so poor. Hey! What are you talking about? What? Well, I'm an elite employee of a big company, so I'll pay for all your meal. What? Huh? Oh, no, no, no. It's okay. What? Even though you're poor, you have a lot of nerve, huh? No, it's not like that. I was indeed annoyed at Rio for slipping in during family time and saying whatever she wanted, but... Today is Ompu's birthday. It's a special day. There was no way I was going to get into trouble on such a day. So I decided to let it slide. Oh, I see. Well, let's put aside for a moment whether Rio will buy us a meal or not. Let's just enjoy the meal for now. With Rio too. Right, Ompu? Yeah. Kanade, I'm sorry Rio's action. Are you okay? No, I'm fine. It's not something you should apologize for, Alto. Today is Ompu's birthday, so let's have fun. <clears throat> Excuse me, here's a plate of outside skirt steak for four people. Wow, amazing! Hmm, I'm glad Ompu is happy. <sighs> uh, Ria, what's so funny? <clears throat> no, no, it's nothing. Hmm, delicious! It really is heaven to be able to eat so much meat, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. It's a little different from usual, isn't it? Yeah! <laughs> I couldn't hold it in! I'm sorry, I couldn't hold back my laughter. What is it? Because I've never seen a child so happy with all-you-can-eat meal. It's so funny. Wow! Hey, it's not that funny. Hey, big brother, don't you think you have to live like this because you're with Kanade? Huh? What are you talking about? Oh my god, poor brother. You must be henpecked by Kanade song. That can't be true. Besides, I feel sorry for Ompu too. She can't even go out to eat and can't eat meat. Isn't that right, Ompu? You want to eat more meat, don't you? Rio, what have you been singing? Huh? I've never had meat like this where we eat a lot. I usually eat Chateaubriand at home. That's enough for me. 
What? What are you talking about? Do you know what Chateaubriand is? Of course I know. What? It's just a little bit in the middle of the fillet of beef, right? I honestly don't know if that's correct. Huh? Well, you know it pretty well. Well, I learned it from our in-house chef. Huh? Did you just say in-house chef? What is this all about? Aren't you ashamed to let your child tell such a lie? Chateau Beyond and an in-house chef? There's no way my brother has that kind of money when he just works for a small company. Well, Leo, you seem to have misunderstood us for a while now. Huh? Otto didn't move to a small company after leaving a big company. What? Because last time I heard you said a small company. Leo, you didn't listen to me until the end. Otto has started a small company. In other words, he is the president of the company? Well, that's right. The business went well and the company grew a lot. So, I hired a full-time chef, which I've always wanted to do. Oh no, it's the opposite of what I thought. Actually, Alto, who used to work for a big company, wanted to do what he wanted to do. However, he was hesitant to start a business for fear of throwing away his stable position. Seeing Aldo like that, I gave him a little push. When I confused about starting my own business, Kanada said she would do everything she could to support what I was doing. Thanks to those words, I was able to get the growth I'm getting now. Kanade is essential to me, so I will not forgive anyone who makes fun of Kanade or Onpu, even if she is my own sister. Alto? Oh no, I didn't know Kanade-san was such a person who cares a lot about you. I didn't like her because she was from nowhere. Leo, I'm from Minato War Tokyo, you know? Mom, maybe that's not what she meant. Anyway... I understood how much you care about Alto, Ryu. It's the same for me. Will you get along with me as a family from now on? Kanade-san, I've done so many terrible things to you until now. And you're being nice to me? Of course, because we have something in common. We both like Alto. Oh. <laughs> well, that is right. Hey, what are you guys talking about? It's a secret. Dad, you're a sinful man. Huh? I have no idea what are you talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, all three of you. I'm all for Alto's business, for Canada's support, and for Ompu's growth. I won't get in your way anymore, so don't worry. Leo... Well then, I'm sorry if I disturb your family time together, so I'm leaving now. What? You're leaving? Eat some meat before you leave. I mean, Rio, your family too. You said earlier that you would take care of us as a family, didn't you? Rio-chan has properly reflected on what she has done and apologized for it. Of course, we are willing to let bygones be bygones and be good from now on. Kana this song. Thank you. Well then, I'll join you. Hey, hey, Leo. Didn't you forget to say something? Huh? I've, I've already apologized. No! That's not it. You're so dull. Oh my god, that's why the child is... Who are you calling me a child? A real child should not say that. <laughs> Look, words starting with H. Eh? Ah, you're right. I forgot to say something important. Happy birthday. Oh yeah, that's it. Thanks everyone. I love you all. There are all kinds of people in this world. And of course, there are those with malicious intent. But I am sure that our family will be fine no matter what happens. <laughs>